Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Courtney here and today's video is going to be a decluttering video. Now, I've seen a lot of these decluttering videos here on YouTube and most of them are primarily makeup. But for me, I don't have as much makeup, but I do have a lot of clothes. Fitness and health is something that I'm very passionate about um, and I do work out a lot. So, with that being said, I have accumulated a lot of activewear, more specifically sports bras and leggings. So I'm going to start this series on my channel where I kind of declutter things in my closet, get rid of um, clothes that I have not worn in quite some time, and I'm going to space them out um, by category because I do have a lot of things. So today's video is going to be me going through all of my sports bras and trying them on because a couple of them I have not worn in quite a while actually. and. I kind of don't remember how they fit me, um, and I know some of them I just I have to get rid of. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So right now I just keep my sports bras in this drawer, and to say that it's full is definitely an understatement. Like, sometimes I can't even close this drawer, like, it's ridiculous. I gotta shove everything in there. And honestly, I have way more that are in the laundry right now, so it's a little bit ridiculous. So the first two items are both from the Demi Lovato collection. I got them both in black and blue. The thing about the black, I feel like it's a little bit looser fit than the blue. And both of them offer zero support, but I'm going to go ahead and pass on the black color. Just because, I don't know why, the band around the chest is just so much looser than the blue one. I don't know if they use different materials or what, but the blue just fits me better, and they're both a medium. As far as nip slips goes, I don't think I'll have a problem, but I'm going to go ahead and keep the blue one anyways, and if I have any issues with any nippage or anything like that, I'll go ahead and pass it on. Next one is a small from the Demi by Fabletics collection, and I actually like the way it fits a lot better. Than the first one. It really doesn't have that much support and the straps on the top are a little bit thin, but I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it anyways. Just give it a try. This next one is a reversible sports bra. It's purple on one side, black on the other. It really has no support to it whatsoever. It does have a cute mesh back design, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass on this one because there's really nothing special about it and I still have the tags on it. I've never even worked out in it. This one is one of those purchases where you see online and it's super cute, then you try it on and you're like, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> this has medium support, so it's not so bad, but it's really big. Like the sizing with Fabletics is kind of inconsistent, which I don't like, um, but there's nothing special about the sports bra. The mesh is just kind of weird. I just, I really don't like it, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that on. This one, I could not have been more disappointed when I got it in the mail. I was so excited to purchase this, and when I tried it on, it was just way too big, zero support, and I'm, I'm going to get rid of it because there's no sense in keeping it when it doesn't fit. And yeah, I just, I'm really upset because I wanted to like this. I wanted it to fit, but unfortunately it didn't. This one I actually love. It fits me in all the right places. It's pretty much medium to high support, and... Yeah, I like it a lot. I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I wouldn't recommend it on super high impact activities, but it'll do. The next couple sports bras are all from the brand called Fatula. It's a relatively newer online activewear uh, brand, and I said on my first video that I would do a Fatula review, which I'm still planning on doing. Um, I just kind of haven't gotten around to it. Um, but all of her sports bras I'm going to keep. They all fit very well. They're all pretty much medium to high impact support. Um, yeah, and I just love them all. They're all really cute, cute, unique designs. This sports bra right here, I actually, this is coral. I also have it in the black. I just didn't try it on. And yeah, as you can tell, I was really feeling myself in this outfit. <laughs> but either way, um, I have nothing but good words to say about this brand. And yeah, I'm keeping um, all of them. These next two are from the brand Buff Bunny Collection. I already did a review on these two, so if you want to see a more in-depth review on them, go ahead and click on that video. I'll leave it in the description box down below. 
but I'm going to go ahead and keep both of them because I actually do like them. They're more for medium to low impact support. These next three are from the brand Gymshark. It's another online activewear brand. And I kind of just kept these because they're Gymshark and I wanted to keep them for the brand. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. These are really low impact support sports bras. And I don't think I've ever actually worked out in them besides this blue one here. I've just kind of worn them to work or if I'm just lounging around the house. These are all in size small and they're just a little bit too tight for me. They just bother me around the chest area. So I can't really wear them for that long. Otherwise, they just kind of, they give me problems. So I kind of wish I got them in a medium, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them. This next sports bra by Gymshark, I'm actually going to go ahead and keep. It's pretty medium support impact, um, and I have the matching leggings to go along with it, so I like the idea of a set. These next two brands are both from Nike. They're their high impact sports bras. I'm going to go ahead and keep both of them. I've had these for quite some time now, and they have held up against the test of time. These are awesome for cardio and really good for high impact activities. So I'm going to go ahead and keep them both. Even though they're small, they don't fit me as well as they used to. I'm going to go ahead and keep them anyways. This is a small from the brand Champion. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's a little bit too tight on me. It's still good for high impact activities, but I have another sports bra of the same color and I'm just going to go ahead and pass this one along. These next couple ones are from Victoria's Secret. I'm going to put them in my maybe pile. I haven't really worked out in them. This first one is a little bit loose around the chest area, and I'm not sure how I'm liking the strappy design. Same for the other one I'm going to show you in a couple seconds. I'm not really sure if I like this, I don't know, crazy strap design on the front. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It's a medium, but I don't know. It's just so tight on me. That's I love the design, and I love the colors. It's super cute. But it's just too tight. I can't do anything with it. These next two I just recently purchased and I'm in love with them. They are pretty medium to high impact support. They do have a little keyhole design on the bottom, but that kind of just goes away because as you're working out, it rides up. You can't even see it. I like the thick straps that they have. It offers more support. Um, if you're someone like me who's a little bit larger chested, you just need that extra support and having thicker straps um, definitely helps with that. Also, it has an adjustable band, so if it's a little bit too loose or too tight, you can make it fit you better. Also, on the back, it has a, kind of a cute uh, strappy design. It's medium to high impact. I wouldn't really do too crazy of a high impact activity in it, um, but yeah, for the most part, it works. I worked out in the purple one. This coral one I haven't tried yet, but I really do love the purple one. This next one is my last one from Victoria's Secret Sport. I'm kind of on the fence about it. It's a little bit loose around the band. Um, it's pretty medium to low impact support. I do like the cross design in the front. It's pretty cute, um, not too revealing, but I'm gonna put it in my maybe pile, give it a shot, actually work out in it, because I haven't done a workout in this actually, so I'm gonna try it out. These next three sports bras are from the brand Queenie Key off of Amazon. This is one of my favorite brands to, um, I don't know, order from off of Amazon. I've never been disappointed. But these are pretty medium to high impact support sports bras. They are pretty high quality and I haven't had a problem with them tearing or pelling or anything like that yet. This black one is actually really high impact support and I love it. I love the design on the back. They're all pretty cute, pretty unique. And I have nothing but good words to say about this brand, so I'm going to go ahead and keep them all. This next one is by the brand Regina. It's pretty much all cotton with a little bit of elastic in it. It is extremely low impact, and I wanted to keep it just because I don't have a sports bra like this in this color, but I'm just going to go ahead and pass. This one is probably my favorite sports bra of all time. I don't remember the brand of it, but it's so cute. I love the pink. It's very feminine. It has the mesh in the front. And as far as support goes, it's more of a medium support sports bra. This next one I actually like, and as I said earlier, I like when sports bras have a thicker strap on it because it offers more support. However, this is just a basic black sports bra. I have so many of them already, and I don't really know how I feel about these purple straps. So I never really find myself reaching for it, so I'm just going to go ahead and pass it on. I've never actually tried this sports bra on until today. I've never worked out in it, and I actually don't plan on it. This one is automatically going in my no pile, get rid of pile, don't ever put this on again pile. <laughs> These straps are so, so loose, so cheap. Uh, I like the design on the back. It's very interesting. However, 
these straps just fall down so easily. It's ridiculous. I love the color. Um, it has some removable cut pads in it. They make your boobs look a little bit weird with the cut pads in it, but I'm going to put it in for today's video. It's a medium to high impact support sports bra, and I actually like it, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. This next one I have never even tried on. I have been it's been, ugh. it's been sitting in my sports bra drawer for a while now, and I don't know why I never tried it on, because I actually love it. This is another one of my favorite, <laughs> I have a lot of favorites, can you tell? It's another one of my favorite sports bras. It's pretty medium to high impact support, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and work out in it and see how I like it. I'm going to keep it. I think the design's super cute. This sports bra makes me feel like Barbie. If you want Barbie in a sports bra, you should definitely get a color like this. I love it. I think I got it at TJ Maxx. It's pretty medium to high support. You don't have any nips or, or any issues in it whatsoever. I don't know what the hell I was thinking when I bought this next one. I think this is an extra small. I just really like the color, the design on the back, but boy... <laughs> What the hell was I thinking? This does not fit me. This is a waste of my time, waste of my money, waste of my effort. Yeah, this just was a no-go. I couldn't even clip it in the back just to show you. This is going in my no pile. I'm going to keep this one. It's been in my collection for a couple years now. It's medium to high impact support. It has withstood the test of time and has moderate coverage in the front. I have no issues with this one. I got at Target on clearance. It's the C9 brand and I had some technical difficulties with this padding in the front. I couldn't figure out how to straighten it out, but whatever. We're just going to ignore like that's not there. It's uh, medium to low impact support. I like the color and I like the design, but I'm going to go ahead and pass it along just because I really don't need it in my collection. This one I think I got at TJ Maxx. I can't remember. I'm having that same issue with the padding, so we're just going to, you know, go ahead and adjust that right there. It's uh, relatively medium to low impact support. I do like the design on the front, but I'm going to go ahead and pass it along just because I don't really need it in my collection, and I have that other purple pink sports bra that I showed in the beginning that I really like, so this one's going to go in my no pile. This one, automatic no, no, hell no, don't waste your time, your titties will fall out of this one. It's very low impact support. It has a cute design on the back, but it's another one where I was like, what the hell was I thinking? I actually got a nip slip in this working out. This I got from the store 5 and Below, which I never even knew they sold sports bras there. It's a seamless sports bra, very low impact support. I've had it for a couple years now, it withstood the test of time. But it piles a lot in the back, and I just don't need it anymore, so I'm actually going to go ahead and toss it. These next three, I think I got from TJ... I think I got these from Ross, actually. They are they were really cute when I bought them, but gosh, they suck, okay? The straps are so thin, it has no support. I think I got it just because I like the design on the front, but I never wear these, like, ever. This next one I'm going to show you, I've probably only washed like two, maybe three times on delicate and air dried and the strap in the front actually broke. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw all of these away. Like don't ever buy anything like this again. I learned my lesson. So that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I ended up decluttering a lot more sports bras than I thought I would. I thought it would be hard to kind of let go and just get rid of things that, you know, you have memories attached to that can be always that always can be kind of hard um but i'm very proud of myself so yeah i don't know what else to say besides i hope you all have a wonderful day if you guys like this video please leave a comment down below and thumbs up this video uh it really helps smaller youtubers such as myself grow and expand my channel and allow others to see my content um if you want to see more of this declutter series, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so that you're notified anytime that I do upload. And yeah, if you also have any video suggestions, things that you want to see from me, let me know. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to say, so I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.